Well, I worked with two secondary schools with a current cohort on the lead, Creative Leadership Programme, and they both had two different inquiries. One of the school's priority was to improve the metacognitive skills of pupils in school in order to try and use that to reduce the difference in levels of attainment of non-free school meals pupils and free school meals pupils. They wanted to do something different in school. And the senior leader who came on this programme decided why not use creative learning leadership methodologies to try and do that with her staff in school. The second school that I worked in decided to try and use this creative leadership module to try and improve um, the results and achievement of boys in maths. She had a group of year 10 boys and wanted to ensure that they were attaining the same kind of levels as the year 10 girls in maths and then decided to try and do the creative learning pedagogy to see if that would make a difference to the boys in school and it did. The teacher's confidence to try something different has been marked, really. Yes, there have been highs and lows, but they have um, believed in themselves to try something new. Both the teachers I worked with, I think, were a bit nervous to start off, not sure where it was going to take them. But the brilliant thing is they had this instinct of what they wanted to achieve. And by having great conversation together, Hopefully, we gave each other confidence to further explore these avenues and make it happen. Working on the Creative Leadership Programme and the two secondary schools that I worked with, yes, they both had their individual inquiry question, but what they were both very keen on doing was making sure that those five habits of mind were embedded in all the work that they did. One of the teachers brought the creative habits of mind into teacher workshops, whole school teacher workshops. Both teachers that I worked with are now using the creative habits of mind to move forward with their colleagues and their pupils in school.